In Arvada, firefighters and paramedics are stepping into a virtual world. It's to prepare them for emergency situations that are hard to recreate. Our Dylan Thomas joins us live from Arvada. And Dylan, these first responders are hoping to see the benefits of this technology. Kathy, the firefighters who work right behind me put themselves in dangerous situations every single day. So to have the ability to be able to train without getting anywhere near a fire is not only more safe, but it's more cost efficient as well. Firefighters are considering using virtual reality to try and make everyday training more feasible. It was just so immersive that it just it felt like it was a real situation. Arvada Fire's Michelle Trenisky was one of several within the department who gave VR a test run before agreeing to partner with Colorado's Optera Group to make VR training a reality. We can simulate things in virtual reality that you can't do near as well in real life because the situations are inherently dangerous. They're inherently complex. Optera's founder, What's Cole Sandow, said firefighters and other first responders can use VR to experience emergency situations which are typically hard to recreate. For example, a fire in an operating room. The VR is going to kick off a little bit of smoke. I smell smoke. Now we got a fire. Using VR, get the fire! Trainees can learn how to properly respond while adapting to a changing environment filled with unique images and sounds each time. And our goal is to build an environment that uh, you give yourself to and you kind of forget that you're not in the real world anymore. And By partnering with Arvada Fire, Optera hopes to improve and develop their system's capabilities while giving first responders the most current training possible. Having something like this is just going to make it that much easier for us to be able to get that real life experience, but also in a safe setting of just like our station.